Well, at this time, we are going to have a reading from the Scripture of, uh, you know, and this, this is one of the examples of that spirit of Christmas, that, that theme that I'm talking about, where even the world, secular culture, has embraced this. And as I shared last week, um, and I didn't get the clip because I wanted it to be a little bit more reverential here this morning, um, but even the world has put it into their popular culture, and, um, and many of them don't realize that when Linus in the wonderful Peanuts Christmas special, which I enjoy, I did not get to see that this year yet, so I'm going to have to track that one down today. Um, but even when I was uh, um, outside of a relationship with the Lord, that was one of the things that was planting the seed of the Word of God in my heart, and I didn't even know it, because I just love when Charlie Brown was exasperated and says, what's Christmas all about? What's the meaning of this? What's the point? He was so upset at the commercialization. And then Linus steps up, the light comes down, and he tells Charlie Brown and everyone there what the meaning of Christmas is. But what I didn't know, what a lot of people don't know, is that Linus was reciting the, the second chapter of the Gospel of Luke. Word for word. And the Word of God every year is planted in the hearts of people. It bore fruit in my life to where I came to know the Savior. What Jesus the Christ child came to do. And I just thank God for it. So we're going to go to Luke chapter 2 and, uh, and read from the story of the birth of Jesus. And is there anyone that would like to do the reading this morning? Does anybody like to read? <laughs> is, is it the youngest? Are we going for the youngest person yes. to read? Is that? Do you like to read? You want to go? You want to try? No, we're not gonna. We're not gonna pressure you this morning. But we're gonna. We're gonna go to Luke chapter two and begin with verse number one. It says, and it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord, and this will be the sign to you. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them and to heaven that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had, now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told to them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all of these things in her heart. And then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen 
and it was told to them. You know, this beautiful story is amazing that God, omnipotent God, loved us so much that he gave us his only son. And he didn't come in spectacular fashion. He came in a humble form. And for God, it was very humble just to move inside of a human body. He's God. (laughs) That blows my mind. And the fact that Jesus, because he loves us so much, the Father loved us so much to make his plan, lives inside of that body and will for all of eternity. That's how much he loves us. It's now a glorified body. And we can see his deity, his glory once again. But he occupies that body. And that is love personified literally. And there's all kinds of wonderful, amazing details of this story and what's going on. Um, But I just wanted to take a few minutes to remember. Jesus loves you. He came, was born as a baby, but he was the only human being born for the purpose of dying. And we went through that in the last couple of weeks, so we won't teach a whole lesson today. We just wanted to do a reading. But isn't that a beautiful thing to do on Christmas morning? Well, what did the shepherds do? They came and they worshiped the Lord, and we did that. Um, they went out and they told other people of all the things that they saw and done. And, you know, how many of you can say, God has done great things in my life? He saved me, He has filled me with His Spirit. He leads me and guides me. He blesses me in so many ways. Well, let's share that. Now, while I knew that I would not be able to get us through leading a cappella, go tell it on the mountain, I will say to you, when you leave today, enjoy this day, enjoy your family, enjoy your activities, but remember to go tell it on the mountain or in the West Plain. (laughs) Amen. We're surrounded by the mountains. But, um, but let's tell the world that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Brother Hagen, or uh, Brother Copeland, rather, he didn't, he didn't come up with that saying. He is declaring the word of God with that saying every time as his saying, Jesus is Lord. It doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> Amen. Well, what we're going to do is have just a time of prayer and um, and then we're going to let you all go. And um, and it's not going to be a real long time. I'll let Lisa do it. Um, just kind of lead us in a prayer. Um, if you would, do a mic because people are watching. And um, and, and she'll just kind of do a, a, a closing prayer. Any comments you feel led to do, wife, you feel free to do that. And then, um, and then when she's done, we can just take a... A uh, couple moments, you know, not a long time, a couple moments, just to, just to be in an attitude of prayer and responsive to God, to hear God. He might speak just directly to your heart as you worship Him this morning for just a couple moments. And then we'll greet one another as we uh, all go out today. Amen. Lord, we just thank you for this time. Lord, we thank you for this day, Christmas Day, and what it represents. That you, our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, was born into this world. That you came with a purpose, that you came with a plan, that you came willingly. And we're so grateful for you, so grateful for doing those things and doing it willingly, Lord. And Lord, you know that you came and that you came to give your life for us. Lord, we're so, so grateful for this season and what it represents. And I thank you, Lord, that as we receive our King today, as we receive our Lord, as we receive our Savior and Redeemer, we just humbly, Lord, present ourselves to you. And Lord, we thank you for the the gift that you are to us. And Lord, may we be a gift unto you in in the way that we live, in the way that we... We do things in the way that we tell others about you, in the way that we honor you, Lord. 
And Father, we just thank you for Jesus. We thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you for such a great love for us that you knew that we needed a Redeemer. And so you sent your Son, Jesus. And we're so grateful for this. We just give you praise. Wonderful praise. Glorious praise, Lord. Praise your name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, we thank you. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise your name forevermore. Praise you. We love you. Can you just express your love for him for just a a moment or so? I love you, Jesus. Oh, I love you, Lord. I love you with all of my heart. Hallelujah. I love you. Oh, God, you're so good. I love you so much. Praise your name. Praise your name, Jesus. Glory. Glory to you. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise your name, Jesus. Oh, you are so awesome, God. You are so awesome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, isn't God good? He is so, so good. Worthy of our worship and our praise.